Saladin, a name often romanticized in history, carries a legacy shrouded in both admiration and controversy. His story is one of strategic brilliance and relentless ambition. Born Yusuf ibn Ayyub, this Kurdish warrior rose to prominence amidst the tumultuous power struggles of the 12th century Middle East. His early life was marked by a series of calculated moves that would set the stage for his future dominance. Saladin's early career was marked by ambition and strategic cunning, qualities that would ultimately propel him to the Sultanate. His ability to navigate the intricate web of alliances and enmities was unparalleled. His rise began in the service of Nur ad-Din, the Zengid ruler of Syria. Under Nur ad-Din's tutelage, Saladin honed his military and political skills. Tasked with securing Egypt for the Zengids, Saladin demonstrated exceptional military prowess. His campaigns were not just about brute force, but also about strategic brilliance. He navigated the complex political landscape of Egypt, outmaneuvering rivals and consolidating his own power base. His diplomatic acumen was as sharp as his sword. Upon Nur ad-Din's death, Saladin seized the opportunity to establish himself as the preeminent power in the region. This was a turning point in his career. He skillfully integrated Egypt into his expanding domain, laying the foundation for the Ayyubid dynasty. His vision for a unified Muslim front was becoming a reality. This period of rapid expansion showcased Saladin's tactical brilliance, but also hinted at the ruthlessness that would characterize his reign. His methods were often harsh, but effective. His ascent was not a bloodless affair. The path to power was fraught with challenges and adversaries. Opponents, both internal and external, were swiftly dealt with, often brutally, as Saladin consolidated his grip on power. His actions were decisive and often ruthless. These early displays of force would become a recurring theme throughout his rule, a stark counterpoint to the chivalrous image often attributed to him. Saladin's legacy is a complex tapestry of valor and violence, strategy and savagery. Saladin's control over Egypt, the heart of his burgeoning empire, was absolute and maintained through a tight grip on power. Dissent was not tolerated and any form of opposition was swiftly crushed. His actions against the Nizari Ismailis, a Shia Muslim sect operating in Egypt, offer a chilling example of his methods. Saladin viewed them as a significant threat to his rule. The Ismailis, with their network of loyal followers, posed a political and ideological threat to Saladin's Sunni regime. Their influence and reach were seen as a direct challenge to his authority. In a calculated move to eliminate any challenge to his authority, Saladin unleashed a campaign of persecution against them. This campaign was ruthless and unrelenting. This involved imprisonment, executions and the systematic dismantling of their infrastructure. Saladin's forces worked tirelessly to root out any Ismaili presence. He understood the power of fear and used it as a tool to maintain control. His tactics were designed to instill terror in the hearts of his enemies. By making an example of the Ismailis, Saladin sent a clear message to any potential dissenters. Opposition to his rule would be met with swift and merciless retribution. No one was safe from his reach. His tactics extended beyond brute force. Saladin was also a master of psychological warfare. Saladin was a master of propaganda effectively utilizing religious rhetoric to demonize his enemies and legitimize his actions. He crafted a narrative that painted his enemies in the worst possible light. He portrayed himself as a defender of Sunni Islam, rallying support from the orthodox religious establishment and painting his opponents as heretics and enemies of the faith. This strategy helped him consolidate power and maintain his grip on Egypt. Saladin's reign was not marked solely by military conquest. It was also characterized by a complex and often harsh governance. His rule saw the systematic suppression of those deemed a threat to his authority, particularly in the newly acquired territories. Religious minorities, especially within these regions, found themselves under increasing pressure to convert to Islam or face severe consequences. While some historians argue that many of these conversions were largely peaceful, driven by economic and social incentives, there is ample evidence suggesting that coercion and intimidation played a significant role in these conversions. The destruction of non-Muslim places of worship, coupled with discriminatory policies, created a pervasive climate of fear and intolerance. Jewish communities in particular faced increasing hardship and persecution under Saladin's rule. Synagogues were destroyed and severe restrictions were placed on their religious practices, limiting their freedom to worship. 
Many members of these communities were forced to flee, seeking refuge in more tolerant lands where they could practice their faith freely. This darker side of Saladin's reign stands in stark contrast to the romanticized image of the chivalrous warrior king often portrayed in Western literature and popular culture. It serves as a poignant reminder that history is rarely black and white, and even the most celebrated figures can harbor a more complex and troubling legacy, filled with both admirable and condemnable actions.